Okay, boxing fans, right now I'm talking about Arthur Abraham versus Mehdi Boadla. You know, starting with Arthur Abraham, he is 35 wins, 27 of which by way of knockout, to three defeats, none of which by way of knockout, against Boadla, who has won 26, 11 of which by way of knockout, to four defeats, only one of which by way of stoppage, to... Mikel Kessler looking at the advantages and that's which boxer brings what to the, to the table starting with the power and you've got to give that to Arthur Abraham still he's still got the power don't count on his power it's not the same one punch power he had that middleweight but he's still you know too big and too powerful for limited opposition he couldn't knock out Stieglitz which was a disappointment for me but he still worried Robert with his power throughout the fight you know, he also tries to attack the body much more now, which is encouraging since Kessler stopped uh, this guy with a body attack. You know, look at Buadla. He does not have great power. Even against limited opponents, he seems to go the distance. He is promoted uh, right, though. You know, he seems to get a lot of title shots. And other than, other than that, you know, his 11 knockouts have came from uh, low level domestic opposition. So. This is really just a warm-up fight for Abraham, an easy defence, maybe. Look at the speed, and I'm thinking you've got to look at Buadla for this one. What he lacks in power, he should have in speed in this fight. Plus, he'll look even faster compared to Abraham, because sometimes Abraham can look really, really pedestrian and slow. Like I said, movement, even. Once again, both of these are non-movers. Abraham plod forward and can stand on the ropes, stand in his corner, and try and null his opponent into a false sense of security before leaping into action. While Buadla doesn't seem to do much moving himself, he's also quite pedestrian. He can try and hold the centre of the ring and fire off a jab and an attack that way. But I think that's going to work straight into Abraham's game plan in this fight. I think he's been hand-picked, really, to make Abraham look good. In terms of boxing ability, and we're going to give that also to Arthur Abraham. Obviously, he successfully campaigned that at a higher level than his opponent. He obviously does have some mixed results, but since the Super Six, he's put some wins together. Uh, he's got his second weight world title, and he's looking to hold it out of Germany, or maybe match it against some of the other, you know, German-based fighters at that weight, which could be quite quite good for the fans, really. You know, Buadler, he's failed at domestic level before, like I've said. He's put a string of results together at 168. He's found himself a world title shot against uh, Mikhail Kessler, which he failed at. And now he's put together another three wins against very limited opposition. And he's now got himself a shot against Arthur Abraham. Uh, for me, Abraham's the better boxer. You know, he's effective at what he does. He tries to stay away from what he's bad at. While Buadla, you know, he is dragged into a fight too easily and that's going to work right into Abraham's game plan in this one. He's going to try and fight Abraham, he's going to back him up into a corner, Abraham's going to soak up whatever Buadla throws out and then he's going to come back with his own. And I think Buadla will get knocked out actually clean out in this fight. So overall I'm expecting a clean knockout by Arthur Abraham in this fight. And this is an opponent that he's, he's just you know picked to look good against.